Today we're going to install a Kingston Brass pull-out ceramic disc cartridge kitchen faucet. Now the first thing that we'll need for our installation is our deck plate. That comes with two threaded shanks and two lock nuts. Now before we install this, we will need a bead of silicone around the outer edge of the deck plate. And we're going to place it in the holes and secure it from underneath. Now that you've secured your deck onto the sink, we're going to install the actual faucet body. Now it comes with an uh, O-ring that I've already set up the hoses and it's going to fit right here into the groove on the base of the faucet. And as you can see here, I've also Tefloned the threads on the faucet, on the inlets. It's going to be easier to do that above the sink than underneath while you're trying to work. Now that you've placed your faucet body into the deck, we're going to secure it with our lock nut, our metal washer, and our rubber washer. Now we're going to thread the lock nut on with our washers. So it's all the way to the top and it's hand tight. Then we're going to use our basin wrench to tighten it the rest of the way. Next we're going to attach our spray hose from underneath. Now the first thing you'll need is your washer and then you will just want to make sure that the thread is Tefloned as well. Now we're going to place in the washer. And then just hand tighten this. And then we're going to use a crescent wrench and a pair of channel locks to tighten it all the way. Now we're going to attach our supply lines. Now you just want to hand tighten these. Then we're going to use a crescent wrench to secure them the rest of the way. Now we're going to install our weight onto our spray hose. Now you'll want to make sure that you install it about two inches up from the bottom of the hose. And on the same side of the hose it's going to be pulling out. You can use your Phillips screwdriver to tighten those. Now that we have our faucet body installed, we're going to attach our spray head to our faucet hose. Now before we do that, you'll want to turn on the water for an approximate minute and let it run and remove any debris that may be in our lines. Then we're just going to hand tighten our spray head on. Just slide it right back down in the groove. And now you're ready to enjoy your Kingston Brass Faucet.